Many of you asked me this question. How to get anyone to say yes in business and in life? First of all, who am I to give you an advice? I have to give you one short example from my life. I just went during the day through the American border uh, with no papers. It was more than 22 years ago. I can say about that right now because I'm an American citizen and very proud of it. But at that time, things were a little different. I wasn't alone, I was with someone else. And that someone else, we had souvenirs, three elephants. Uh, my friend holds some, a few elephants, and I was holding two. My friend said joke, I was wearing sunglasses and I didn't know, well, I say I knew two or three words in English at that time and went to a custom, American custom, border, it's a border between different countries during the day and my friend said a joke to the person at the custom at the border and he laughed I then all I had to do I just smiled through my sunglasses I even yes you can say I should take off my sunglasses and the person custom person should tell me to do that but somehow he didn't and somehow I didn't take off my sunglasses all I did, I just looked at, the, at him and I smiled and then after my friend said a joke, I laughed and he laughed and while we were all laughing, he checked the passport of an ID of my friend and somehow he forgot to check my passport. If he wouldn't, I wouldn't be here right now. So what happened eventually, we walked through the border and he approved and he said, everything looks fine. He checked the passport and ID of my friend, but somehow he forgot to check my passport. All I did, I smiled, I laughed, I was positive, I was happy, and I didn't have any doubts in my eyes, any doubts or any random thoughts. I, re I radiated, happiness and positivity and self-confidence well i hope it's enough for you and right now i want to tell you uh, three main things that make makes person to say a yes to you on your request before to record this video I did lots of research, I went multiple master classes, courses, and I said to myself, I want to share with you from my own experience. Uh, later in life, I got great sponsorships for my project, and the same, I wouldn't say technique, the same approach. I did it more like on subconscious level, at that time, I didn't know what I know right now, and I did it subconsciously. But before I dig into the details, I want to tell you that your intentions should be good. You should come to ask someone for something, and you should have a good intentions. If your intentions are not good, nothing good will happen. If you go, for example, to a founder of big corporation or CEO or executives or business owner of a big business, they all know NLP, they all know all those techniques, or they know psychology, they have a great experience, they see many people, uh, many professionals, people go through them, and they on subliminal level, they will scan and they will feel it. They will feel your bad intentions. So, if you have bad intentions, you will fail. This is my video for people with good intentions.
your request should be mutually beneficial and for you and it should benefit person who you asking for something it's very important to understand that this will give you self-confidence and all other um, things that will help you to get yes okay so the thing number one many people say that you should show your vulnerability you should show your love and kindness I'm sorry I disappoint you it will not work love and kindness vulnerability come on people will feel it that you are a weak person you are not strong you will not pull through they will say no to you most likely they will so say no to you kindness love vulnerability you show when you go to visit someone at the hospital when uh, you see your family members need uh, help and in personal conversation without any request when you need to get yes when you need to get what you want definitely you should radiate self-confidence definitely self-confidence if you don't have self-confidence forget about everything else doesn't matter what kind of business plan do you have but paperwork everything you can have a great pitch if you're doing business and hoping to get something from you uh, from someone or in personal life the same thing if you want to convince your family member to do something uh, you operate differently there are many different techniques mirror you mirror someone you you certain words you don't have to do that good if you think it's good it's good to have it's complimentary but this is not essential essential it for you is to have self-confidence and when i talk about self-confidence you shouldn't have any doubts at all when you enter the door enter the office or room and you meet with that person you should radiate confidence confidence remember when we want to get something from someone 95 percent of our brain is belongs to subconscious our subconscious mind influence our decisions this is very important to understand logic works only five percent until a certain point when you enter the room person immediately feels you like him or dislike him or you remind him his ex-wife or you remind him his enemy or ex-partner who uh, wasn't honest within a few seconds uh, the person when he looks at you, he understands, he will say yes or no to you. And in that situation, when you don't remind uh, to that person ex-wife, or if you don't remind that person his, ex, his enemy, or something negative from his childhood, then if you do what I say to you to do, it will work for you. So number one, you should radiate self-confidence absolute self-confidence so you have to practice you have to train yourself no doubts no any random negative thoughts number two you have to do your research and you have to find as much information about that person as possible this is definitely will give you power from everything that I know from all these multiple techniques and tips I can say you from my experience knowledge is the power and this is true so more you know about person about his habits about his personality about his temperament type the easier would be get for you what you want don't be lazy get to find the people who know that person 
invite him for a dinner, what the hobby of that person, what his personal life, of course, if it's possible to find, what is his family, no family, everything possibly you can find about that person. Right now, to achieve this, it's much easier than it was many years ago. So number one, you have to radiate self-confidence. You have to radiate absolute self-confidence. Number two, you get information about that person you're going to meet. Very important. Number three, when you enter to the room, your head should be free of negative thoughts. You, have, you feel like you have empty head. Only what should stay in your head, it's absolute happiness. Happiness, your eyes, you should smile, look straight to the eyes, to the person. At the moment you enter the, enter the office, enter the room, you look straight to the eyes. Try, don't blink. When you blink often, it shows that you are nervous. On a piece of white paper, you draw a plug dot and look at it at least three times a day and count how many times you are able to look at that dot without blinking your eyes. And it will be very helpful because when you come and you observe the powerful speakers, they, they don't blink their eyes like this when they talk to a big, large crowds, isn't it? So you don't want to blink your eyes, especially first few seconds. So you say hello, your handshake should be strong. Not like you're gonna to break your, someone's, uh, his, uh, someone's hand, right? But it should be firm, it should be weak, your hand should be dry and clean. So oh, everything is important. And while you do handshake, you look to the eyes. You look straight to the eyes and smile. And here, the person decides he will be, he will say yes to you or will say no to you. At the moment when you look at the person's eyes, smile at the moment you give a handshake before even you start talking. And then when you start talking, remember to keep that smile and your happy eyes for radiating happiness during the entire pitch, during the entire conversation. How it works? We all want to get peace of happiness and we all have, according, uh, according to psychological research, we tend to communicate with people who are happy than do, to those who are unhappy. And when we meet person who are happy, positive, radiating happiness, positivity, always smiling, you want to stick to that person, you want that person to be a friend, isn't it? It's normal, it's natural for a human being to stick to person who is happy, genuinely happy. So number three, you look straight to the eyes, smile, don't blink your eyes, give a handshake, and continue in the same way all the way to the end to your request and believe me it's not what is written and not what is your pitch if you like to that person from the moment you entered the office he will or she will do so much to say yes to you. You have to be very careful with humor and jokes, especially in our time, because if you think you will understand this way, your uh, person, the person who you're talking to, can understand absolutely opposite way. So be very careful when you're trying to inject some humor in your pitch or speech or into the conversation. I will be very curious to know about your experiences and, and if you can apply my tips into your 
into your life please share it in the comments below how things went through if you have serious appointment and you badly need to get a yes from someone so you are welcome to share it in the comments below and if you like this video you feel free to subscribe and this way you will get more videos like this live long stay strong until next time